the midst of a bush that burned with fire, it was not consumed. Moses drew close and listened as God commissioned him to go to Pharaoh. Fearful and reluctant, still Moses agreed to bring God's message to the king of Egypt. The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has sent me to tell you, let my people go. Moses left the wilderness to return to Pharaoh's palace, the very place where he had been raised. He returned with the message which the, which the Lord had given him. But God himself warned Moses of the resistance that he would encounter together. I know that the king of Egypt will not let you leave unless he is forced to do so. But I will reach out my hand and strike Egypt with all my wonders that I will do there. After that, he will let you go. God sent plagues one by one, yet with each plague, Pharaoh hardened his heart. The Egyptians became afflicted with discomfort and disease, bane and blight. Still, Pharaoh would not relent. With the tenth and most awful plague, God pierced through the hardness of Pharaoh's impenetrable heart. Together, for that night, I will pass through the land of Egypt and kill all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both men and animals, and I will execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt. I am Adonai. 